Okay, so you have been spending your time like me outdoors, playing around with the drone, and all of a sudden there's a mishap. In my case, I was over the ocean and the drone simply wouldn't respond. I fought with that controller forever, but what happened? It went down in the water. Well, you have an opportunity now. Kind of wondering how things ticked. So I've got a battery. You know that these things are like 200 bucks, more than 200 bucks each, right? And so you gotta wonder, you know, um, you know, what makes these things tick? Why is it costing 200 bucks? Well, I'm gonna show you my breakdown of the battery and, um, and how I got it apart. So hopefully it makes it easier for you and perhaps um, if you need to tinker with it for some reason, which I don't recommend. Uh, I mean, this is a, a LiPo battery, a lithium ion battery, and uh, it could be dangerous. Um, so don't recommend it, but if you need to take it apart, at least I'll show you what uh, I found in that opening process and maybe that will make your process easier. So why don't we get started? So uh, to start with, you know, how do you, how do you start with this thing? Well, you flip it around and what you're gonna notice right away is that there's a screw. There's a screw here. You flip it around, there's a screw there. It takes a simple Phillips, the small screw, you'll have to find the right one. I experimented until I found the right one. And you're gonna to wanna to pull it out. Um, they're, they're really not that big. Screw is really a tiny thing. You can see it there, it's really tiny. And when you when you get that thing apart, um, what you're gonna notice right away, the screws are on either side here, here at the at the front. And so basically there's a pivot point right here along the back. And when you flip it around the back, what you're gonna notice right away, so there's those little indents. And these indents is where it catches. And so essentially what you're gonna do is you're gonna rock this thing back, all right? So let me kind of show you, uh, I'll show you what that looks like here in just a second, but you got to rock that back. Um, when you rock that back, what you're going to notice on the side is, you know, these are part of what uh, holds it to, to the Evo, right? So you push these things down here and they go in and out. So they're loose. So once you can rock this thing back a bit, um, you'll, able to, you'll be able to pop these things out. Um, in fact, when you do that, um, what you're going to see is, you know, there's these little things. Um, pretty simple, uh, but anyway, they pop out and they give you a little bit more room and you're going to need that room because it turns out, um, you know, along the backhand side, which I was pointing out here where these things exist, there's a plastic piece that runs the entire length and you need to get something over the top of it to, to loosen it up because there's really this, this seam is so tight here, you're never going to get anything in there. Um, and so anyway, that's that's kind of the first clue. So let's have a look at what that looks like. So. I've had a chance to, to break off um, you know, the back in terms of what that looks like. And so first thing, so if you're looking at this, here's what it looks like when you pop it open. So what you're gonna notice right away is you know, where those indents are, there's a little piece that sticks out. And so what you need is to come in from this side, back side or the inside, and basically uh, pry those things forward. Now in my case, um, what I use, and it seemed to work really well, I have these nice Swiss, um, you know, um, pliers, what do you want to call them? Anyway, needle nose pliers, really small, really fine uh, tips that you can see on there. And that was just enough for me to basically uh, reach underneath the cap and grab a hold of this plastic, piece, pull it forward. And then I was able to twist a little bit twist this part and uh, you know break it free. Once I got one free, I held it and was able to pry this in on the other side and, and pop that out. Um, so that's that's really step one. And so when you get the top off, you know essentially what you're gonna be left with is a case that's looking like this. Um, of course, the, the very top of it's gonna be sitting on there, um, but you're gonna be able to pry out where those indent holes are, which you can see in front of me here. Um, and um, and basically pop the top off. And once you pop the top off, that's where the uh, next next challenge comes into play. So one thing that you'll notice when you look carefully at this battery along the side here, there's a seam that runs down the middle of, of this side and the opposite side, right? Right there along the seam. Again, not really any room to get something into pride. And I mean, you can see what I'm using here is pretty fine tipped. I have a couple other ones here in front of me that are even finer. But along both sides here, there's a little seam. So what do you gotta do? Well, it's really the same thing as I showed you with the other one. Um, I found actually that the, the tool here, um, 
uh, was, you know, the same one, worked quite well. Essentially what you're gonna be doing is right along the seam, um, you're gonna be inserting uh, this tool in between this black plastic piece and this, and this here, and that's gonna be part of the procedure, but there's one step before that. So I'm gonna show you what I, what I found when I, when I, after I finally got this thing open. What you're gonna notice when you look inside um, here, so right up here at the top, if you, if you see kind of closely, there is on both sides, both this one here and this side over here, there's a, li there's a little piece there. And if I separate this a bit, maybe you can see it. There's a little piece there um, that basically uh, something hooks onto. There's a little bit of a hook. So first thing you need to do is you need to pop that hook um, and, and loosen it. And once you've done that, then you'll be able to come along the back side here and uh, take, use, use your uh, needle nose pliers, assuming they're as fine as mine, uh, wedge it in there and uh, separate it. But the next thing that you have to solve for her. So even when you get this, uh, this top piece here um, handle, the next challenge is going to be um, right behind it, there's another uh, piece that also has a hook and loop type situation. So here you can see the loop. And in terms of the hook, you actually have to flip it around to the back side to see it. But uh, I'm gonna bring it up here close for you now. Uh, if you notice this, the right in here, there's a little, uh, again, uh, protrusion that sticks out that that loops over. So what essentially you're trying to do is to get your um, you know those pliers like this, the bent form that I have here, basically behind there, and pop it up a little bit on either side and loosen it. Uh, once you get it there, what you'll be able to do is to uh, take these pieces that, that are connected and actually use your fingers and push them apart a bit, and you'll get the first one. This, and there's enough give in the plastic, it won't separate much, but enough to know you're, that it's disconnected, but then you'll be able to work down to the second one here. It has the same exact attachment, same basic procedure. Basically, you take your pliers, you'll take it and you'll insert it behind the plastic like I'm doing here, kind of wedge it forward a little bit, other side, kind of wedge it forward, work here in the middle, kind of try to pop it free, and it'll loosen up. And once it does, you put a little pressure, sideways pressure, and you'll open it up. Um, you'll get this, these top two. So you'll get the first one here at the top, the second one here at the bottom. So then the trick is the, the bottom one here. Um, and what you have at the bottom is a little bit different. So rather than being something on this side, it's now on the bottom. Again, um, and, you know, you'll get to that, but you won't quite get that first. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna separate those two and you're gonna flip it around and repeat. Um, on this side, same thing's occurring. There's a little bit of a hook and loop situation here. Um, and you're gonna basically want to uh, use your uh, needle nose pliers like mine again, uh, get it in between the black and the orange plastic, kind of raise it up. Kind of, I use it to lever it up a little bit, lever up either side. Didn't do it too hard, just enough. You can kind of feel it. It's kind of not, it's uh, giving us a little bit. And then using constant pressure, you want to try to separate those two things. And once it separates a little bit, then you'll go down to the next one and you'll put it underneath both sides, uh, kind of wedging this a little bit and pushing constantly you know, to try to separate them and they'll pop free. And once you pop that free, then that's, that's really it. There's not really much more you have to do in terms of wedging anything. I found that it just came right apart. Um, at, on the bottom here, as I mentioned, um, there is something that's holding it. Uh, if I flip it around this way, perhaps you can see it a little bit better. Um, up here at the top, here and here the, on both sides, um, there's again a little bit of a, a hook and loop situation. The protrusion sticks into that little hole. But um, you know, once it's once it's apart, it just comes apart really easily and separates. So when you've done that much, and then you'll be at the point that I'm at right now, which essentially is holding the battery pack uh, still attached to um, uh, the the top controller part, uh, power switch on and off. Um, you'll notice when you look inside, uh, you'll you have this kind of spongy material as well as kind of some tape which you can uh, separate. Here, let's just go ahead and do that. Open that up a little bit on either side, let's take this little spongy material off, separate it, uh, tape basically then uh, peels back. You take that off, hang it on both sides, and you can expose uh, the remainder of the battery. So there you go, this, this is what's inside of your $200 battery. And so we'll continue to uh, tear down from here. So in my case, I'm really kind of wondering what happened. So my uh, drone, when it went down, um, it fortunately it landed right there in the ocean. Couldn't get close enough, couldn't grab hold of it, just refused to come toward me. 
Um, but anyway, removing this black plastic is uh, proven on the other side to be pretty easy. So here's another one. Kind of comes off pretty easy, comes off intact, no problem. Um, and then you kind of see you've got three, uh, three battery components here. Interesting, not wet or anything, even though this just went down not to, you know, this last week. But uh, there you go. I'll remove, I guess, the bottom now and we'll come back. So removing this white stuff, uh, not particularly easy. I think if you're gonna do that, I guess you could uh, maybe use a, a, I don't know, a razor blade or something, some kind of a flat blade to put pressure on it. Um, it's really fragile stuff. It seems to be more of an insulating layer um, and something that sort of holds them together a little bit, but it's really not really strong stuff. It tears extremely easily. So maybe a razor would actually remove this solid piece of white that was here before. Don't know. So with that, I think I'm gonna have another quick look, um, see if I can separate these cells out and go from there. So in terms of separating these um, cells, what I've noticed is they're, they're connected by this uh, double-sided sticky tape that's kind of spongy. Uh, looks like it's about a little over a 16th inch wide. And that's really, it's, uh, it's been glued here along the bottom, in the middle, and on the top. It just took, it took something to put in there to wedge them apart, and they seem to come apart. So um, nothing else mechanical there to really keep them together. Um, so anyway, that's how they're connected. Okay, so when you disassemble it, you got the top part. Obviously, where you turn it on, where you turn it on, there's a little bit of a circuit board uh, here at the bottom. Uh, with, I think, was it three screws holding it? Yeah, three screws holding it. So basically, if you're looking at this, screw there, screw down in here, and screw, screw right up here. And looks like they're star drive screws. So maybe a small Allen wrench, something like that. Anyway, pretty small. Um, not really gonna test the circuit board. In my case, this, this is just, I was just curious what it looked like when you opened it up and how it came, what it was put together. So inside I showed you that there were uh, three battery packs. So, you know, here are the three battery packs now. All three of them, each one, I guess 2,700. I guess you could open this thing up and see individual cells maybe inside. Um, Leads come out of the top. Um, in one case, they seem to come out one from one side, one of the other. The other ones, other two batteries, they seem to both come out the one side. So I guess engineering-wise, just made more sense that way. So anyway, there's the the teardown. So you got your three batteries. You got the you got the top. Um, you've got the two push buttons on the side, and you have the the case really that's uh, holding it all together. So that's what you get for 200 bucks. Uh, worked great while it worked. And uh, anyway, obviously this is where they're making their money. So um, good for them. It was interesting. Hope you found this useful.